Okay, we have on the board the integral of x squared plus 1 over x to the fourth minus x squared plus 1 dx. Okay, I was really interested in this problem, even though I've already done a, quite a, a few, done maybe three videos or two or three videos, the same kind of problem. In the previous videos, what we did is we essentially multiplied the numerator and denominator by 1 over x squared in order to transform it. And then when, after you do this, it becomes pretty easy. What I want to do today is we'll do a different method. This method's going to be a little longer, slower. I don't know, maybe not as good, but I just want to show that method and see. I think maybe there could be some advantages to it. I'm not sure, but let's go over that now. So what I want to do to start is let's write our numerator, and then I'm going to try to factor this denominator. What I'm going to do is we're going to start with x squared plus 1 squared, noticing that's just this squared. Now when we do that, that's obviously not this, so this is going to be, multiplying this out, this is going to be x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. Okay, we have the x to the fourth, we have the 1. In order to not change the expression, we're going to need to subtract 3x squared here, noticing that 2x squared minus 3x squared is our 1x squared. So next what I want to do is create the denominator to be difference of two squares. So we'll put a square root on our three, remove this and square it. And then notice that that is the same thing as three X squared. And then what that's going to allow us to do is when we rewrite this integral, we can use our difference of two squares. When we have a squared minus B squared, we can write it as a plus B times a minus B. So in this case, it's going to be X squared plus one plus square root of three X times x squared plus one minus square root of three x. And the cool thing here is just notice if you were to add these two together, the square, the square terms would cancel. So you'd get two copies of x squared plus one. And that's very similar to what we have here. We can just make this into two copies, multiplying by two here, and then multiplying by a half in front. So then that's gonna allow us to manipulate our numerator into something kind of like what's in the denominator. Okay, so now I've rewritten this. We don't really need the parentheses. I just have parentheses in the numerator just to show what we're doing. And then notice when we, if you multiply those two together, the square terms, like I said, will cancel, and you just end up with what we have here, two times x squared plus one. So we actually haven't changed the expression from here, even though it looks very different. But then this is gonna allow us to split this into two integrals. And now that we've split this up, we get the cancellation we were looking for because this is going to cancel with this. We'll just have a one left here. This one's going to cancel with this one and we're going to have a one left here. And just to make it clear with the cancellation, now we've got two very similar looking integrals. I'm just going to, I'm on a space, so we'll clean up the board and continue. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square on each of these integrals. So let's see, for this one, I'm going to write this as x plus square root of three over two. I'm just taking a half by two there, square this, so that's gonna be x squared plus square root of three x plus three fourths. When we square this last term, it's three fourths, so we need another one fourth to get us to one. Then basically doing the same thing over here, we're just gonna have x minus square root of three over two squared. Same situation when this, is, this term here is gonna be three fourths, so we need to add a one fourth to get to one. Let's multiply by a four over four, because I'm gonna take this four and multiply it in here, and we'll do the same thing here. Here we're gonna have a four over two, so we're gonna start with a two out front, and then distributing this four in, when we distribute it inside of the square root, we're gonna end up with two x here, and then it's gonna be two x plus square root of three squared, plus one, multiplying four by one fourth. Okay, and then doing the exact same thing over here, we're gonna have a two out front, distributing a four in. Inside the square root, it's just distributing a two because we're squaring it. So then we're gonna have two times x is two x minus two times square root of three over two is just square root of three squared, and then four times one fourth is plus one. Then from here, we're gonna do a really quick u substitution. I'm just gonna, this will be our u. 
the derivative of this is going to be, in both cases, is going to be 2 dx. So I'm going to kind of, we're just going to kind of do this, do substitution in our head. So we'll put a 2 in front of the dx, but we need to divide by 2. But then this is going to be a 1 in both cases. But I won't actually write out the u substitution. I think we can see that this is going to be du in the denominator. And so this is going to be for our final answer. We're going to have tan inverse 2x plus square root of 3 here. Plus, and then this one, it's going to be tan inverse 2x minus square root of 3 plus c. And that's it. And you'll notice this answer does look different than what you would get if you did the uh, method I had mentioned originally, you would get if you multiplied through by the x squareds, you will get, if you do it that way, you'll get one term. So I think that's a little cleaner. Um, but you can verify that these answers are equivalent. So it is the, the same answer, just in a different looking form. Anyway, I'm stopping it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.